Hello everybody, this is KC, by himself, for something a little bit different here. Uh, fun fact, this is the first game I ever got on Steam, and I thought, why not, um, let's see, no, how do I, I guess really just delete all data, yeah, start from scratch. This is the first game I ever played on Steam, I beat this many, 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 many years ago, and, uh. I was looking for a Our game to begins. play through, and I figured, Edgar why not? And Grandma Julie. Why not this one? You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. They're a Mormon family. One day... Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats, so they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. The old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. Didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. If you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook, headed for the door. Okay, that was an obscenely long video. Did not realize how long that was, but uh, here we are. This is Scribble Knots. Now we're gonna walk to the farmer, who was actually our brother. Earn a star by helping anyone with his award-winning pig. Sure. So there is a tutorial, unfortunately. So we'll run to this. Right, now just to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, you can literally do anything. So a sponge. Here you go. Oh, oh to Maxwell. My bad. Maxwell, yes. And clean. Simple as that. Click the progress bar for the current hint, if you really need one. Click next one and remove this object. And then throw it away. Oh, drive to the trash can. Sure. Okay. So we can do... Oops. Huge. Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Giant wings. Okay. And here 
is the judges. Take the winch of the magic backpack, you got it. And here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Uh -huh. And everyone is royally impressed with the flying giant pig. And he has gotten first place. Look at that. <laughs> and we have earned a star right for cheating by using magic to beat hardworking farmers who tried to win the honest way. Indeed, the best way to start our adventure of honesty. Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a starite. Use starite vision to find shards. Okay. So that's this. And the cool thing about this is um, you can make your own um, abilities. So, for instance. Oh, God. Get out of this view. Help the sprout grow. Okay. Okay, so for instance, something I always used to do. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Water bottle. Oh. Water bottle, yeah. And there we go. Oh! Okay. The plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset the level to uh, return all objects to their original state while keeping your earned shards. My kitty's stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. You got it. All right, we're gonna do a giant ant. Ha! Oh shit. Kitty, come home. Level complete. All right. Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey into Capital City. Okay. I can now play as Edwin. Click a Maxwell and select Big Avatar to play as any unlocked brother. You got it. So we're gonna play as Edwin. Just like that. Okay. We're gonna go to the capital city. All right. Welcome to the first official stage of the game, the capital city. All right, let's see here. I want someone to entertain me, okay? Silly giant clown. Here you go. All right, easy peasy. What do we got here? Place someone into the phone booth and make a sidekick for me. Okay. Meek, tiny man. Oh. All right. I can now play as Maxwell's brother, Clark. I'll do that soon. All right, what do you want? I want to sail across the sea. Hovercraft. There you go. Oh, that doesn't work. Yes, it does. All right. Bon voyage. See you later. What can I do for you? All right. Cockroach is just lonely. Closer to start me. Play classic carnival games and win the prizes. You got it. Carnival games start. Carnival is in town. Throw something to knock over the bottles, but don't cross the barrier. You got it. All right, so. Oh, I'm a clown. All right. Let's see. We are going to create a rocket launcher. And we are going. Oh. There we go. All right. Throw something to pop the balloons without crossing the barrier. Well, I already have something. Alright. 
Those are gonna hit the dunk tank without crossing the barrier. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I destroyed him. Alright, well. There we go. And just like that, we got a shard. Three of them, as a matter of fact. Oh, we got star rights. Two of them. Okay. Alright, and now, like I was saying before, I always enjoy uh, just giving myself a jetpack. So I can kind of just fly around stage without really having to worry too much so let's see we can't see there are clouds in the way okay a giant talking fan keep them company too while they're at it see ya all right what else do we got here oh monkey King me, all right. <laughs> and the crown. All right, King Kong. <laughs> and he got killed. All right, what else do we have? I feel like we got everything. What's this? So unsightly graffiti. Window cleaner. That was supposed to be a person, but okay. That's fine. I'm parked illegally. Okay. Well, then we're gonna have a policeman take care of that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right here. Okay. Couldn't see because of this fan. Oh, jeez, I died. Create a new fountain for the city. Place an object in this wood and flip the switch. Oh, okay. Well, we already have one. Blah, blah, this blah, fan. Blah, blah. Yes. Mm. All right. This talking fan, by the way. <laughs> we'll go to the art gallery here. Okay. Gonna change to Clark, superhero. Okay, how about a magnifying glass for you? There you go. Okay, finicky patrons. New mini game. Okay, oh, oh dear. It's opening day of the museum. Place something in the frames that will be sure to please the museum's patrons. Uh, something in the frame? In what frame? Was this me? Burning man. Oh, I'm right here. Okay. Tired red tree. Uh, of course. Medusa, what can I do for you? Place an item that I would find artistic. Okay. Um, a stone man, of course. All right. The next patron is arriving. Place on in a frame that will be sure to please. Oh. <laughs> well, um, a headless man. Oh! Did not like that. Okay. A horse. There we go. Horse. The lace patron is here. Place something inside the final frame to complete opening day of success. Yeah, that's Mrs. Claus. A skinny Santa.
Easy peasy. Oh, and they, and they stay. That's awesome. Okay. I need something to connect these bones together. Okay. Glue. Them bones. Help me get past the guard and a security camera so I can take back my diamond. Um, invisible potion. Does that work? Disguise. There we go. The girl in this paint looks lonely. Alright. Single girl. There you go. I can now play as Artie. What do we got? Finish my exhibit. This is uh, Christopher Columbus. So, you need a slave. There you go. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. Ah! Okay. There. Oh, no! I didn't mean... <laughs> Get rid of these guys. No! He's gonna die! And I got rid of all my drawings. Isn't that wonderful? That's a shame. Okay, well. Sorry, Mr. Columbus. I guess I'll actually do a right thing here. And give you a ship. Okay. Well, of course, you will get a pyramid. Yes, here you go. Benjamin Franklin. A kite. There you go. And George Washington. Well, of course, why not a cherry tree? Alright. Level is complete. Good stuff. And we are going to switch to Artie. And we are going to go back to the world. Music